Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, today's video is uh, another uh, Lego set build uh, related video. Uh, we're going to be tackling this uh, beautiful Lego set. It's uh, rated for 16 plus. It's Lego set 10265. It's a Ford Mustang. Uh, there's 1471 pieces in this Lego set and it is part of the Lego Creator Expert team as you can see here. Um, and this set uh, was released in 2019 and retails for $150 and you can still buy this set it's still actively available on lego.com or lego stores or ebay amazon you name it and you might even get it cheaper than $150 if you look around uh, again this is a new set i never built it yet the box itself uh, has some nice pictures about the lego itself set as you can tell it has a supercharger it seems like it engine like i said i didn't build it so these are the extras that comes with it uh, bumper seems like if you want to make it a drag racer car uh, some exhaust from the side a spoiler at the back uh, supercharger i guess uh, the doors open up seems like it the roof comes off uh, there's some uh, nitrous i guess here a uh, picture of the engine in there the nitrous here and something about the car here which seems like you could lift it up uh, suspension wise so yeah so there's some uh, something to it here uh, some uh, measurements about the vehicle itself in inches so it seems like it is five and a half inches wide and around 13 and a half inches long I do like the colors with the white strip the blue with the white strip definitely nice color to it uh, so I like uh, I like this more Ford Mustang. I believe I don't know what year is that supposed to be. I'm sure I'll figure it out uh, once I open the manual and uh, as I'm building it, uh, they usually write things about uh, Ford Mustang. But I presume this is a 60s or 70s Ford Mustang from the front look of it. Anyway, so with no further ado, uh, what everybody's waiting for, let's. Uh... <laughs>
definitely enjoyed building this uh, this set. I don't know why. Maybe because it's a Mustang. Not a big Mustang fan either, but uh, I do like muscle cars. Uh, being an owner of a sport car, of course, makes it also more uh, interesting to build things like that. So this is a 1967 Mustang. Uh, of course, you can see on the plate, uh, to make it obvious too, the plate numbers provided by the vehicle also states that. And also while building it in the manual, they talk about it a lot. So, And of course, if you know about Mustangs, this is a 1967 Mustang. Uh, so, with no further ado, of course, let's talk more about the vehicle itself. Like I said, very well detailed. Uh, enjoy building it. So, of course, come to the box, the manual, which we're going to move this out of the way. The manual is very, very informative. So, if you ever have this set, definitely read what's in it. They talk a lot about, you know, the vehicle itself, the design itself, and so on and so forth. So, I think a uh, very uh, good set to have. Uh, if you're a collector, of course. Uh, so, let's move these out of the way and focus on the vehicle and the accessories that came with it. So, of course, first and foremost, it comes with additional plates that you could swap if you need be. As you see, there's a front plate here and there's a rear plate. And you could swap them. I kept the 1967, I think GT 967, which makes sense to me. Uh, so, I kept those. But you can, you could, of course, move things around and shuffle them with these different plates so that's one the vehicle itself is very well detailed uh, i don't even know where to start and of course it came with some accessories if you want to supercharge it uh, which we will get to that in a second but just from the accessory standpoint it has those size side mufflers uh, i guess that's what i would call them or exhaust so so we'll show how these go on it of course has i presume this is a supercharger which will go on the vehicle to muscle it up a bit more for drag racing maybe it has the i think they call these front spoilers so we see how that goes on the vehicle and of course it has a rear spoiler so yeah you could uh, add some cosmetic to it uh, so but right now me personally i might keep it originally the way it is i think it uh, just uh, have a better look that way but we are um, just for the sake of the video i'm going to actually add those pieces to it so of course i want to show you the front look at the details on it again these uh, teams expert team are very uh, famous for their uh, you know focusing on the details of the you know of the of the build or of the whatever you're building if it's a vehicle or a or a building or whatever the case is they focus on that so you could tell here uh, the front bumper and the lighting and all the stuff and even the hood very well detailed and then of course we go to the back you can see the back of it very well detailed with the dual exhaust and you know the logo the gt logo and all the stuff so definitely yeah the steering wheel of course is uh, functional so if you can tell here as you move the steering wheel uh, the wheel i mean the steering wheel do move so to start with that um let me just zoom in that way i show you other features that came with the vehicle rather than holding it that way so zoom in a bit okay so of course other features are there the hood opens up and you could see the details inside the vehicle i mean very impressive they really captured a lot of details in there so you can see the engine block uh, you could see the wiring, radiator, uh, and I believe that could be the brake fluid maybe, or the window washer fluid, depending on what. If they even showed you the battery terminals, if you notice here, so let me zoom into, yeah, there you go, the battery terminals, the positive and the negative, they showed you that. You know, they showed you the, the cables, and the cabling going, I think these go into the spark plugs, I believe, yep. Yeah. And you know the the engine itself and the thrust and all the stuff. So I mean they tried to capture a lot of details. You can see the belt, timing belt and things like that. HVAC belt, I believe. There's two belts in there, representation. Uh, I think that's where the oil goes. You can see the log on that. So yeah, they tried to capture certain details of the engine blocks. If you work on these kind of vehicles, uh, they showed you some of the representation here which I like, uh, you know, the 
Now, there's some sticker elements to it. This is a sticker, sticker. But uh, if you notice here, these are not stickers. These are actually printed plates, you know, white and things like that. So, so they try to balance things around. But yeah, so that's under the hood. Um, like I said, very impressive details there. Uh, just to go forward, uh, come with the side mirrors, which are movable. I just want to make sure I'm showing you what I'm talking about. So these are side mirrors. The roof do come off. So, so that's the roof. Uh, something that I found very interesting that they add a touch to it is the mirror. Where is it? Let's see. Yeah, let me go out of the way here. Uh, here we go. Look at that. They even thought of that. They added for the rear view mirror. Look at that. So that you can see there's a car behind you. I think that was a very nifty touch. I very was impressed by that. That's a sticker, of course, but it just shows that they thought of that even that, oh, you have a mirror there. You should have a vehicle behind you. So I thought that was very nice. Um, but yeah, the, the, the roof come off. Uh, of course, the trunk do open up. And I said, the doors open up too, as you can tell. And of course, the interior is very well detailed. You could see the seating. And of course, I said the, the steering wheel do actually function. Let's try to zoom it out a bit so you can show you that. As I move the steering wheel, you can see the front wheel moving. So as I move the steering wheel, you can see that the wheels in the front, they move. Uh, Something to point out, uh, of course, in here, the interior of it. Let me show you the interior. There's some details in there. Of course, there's a shifter here, which is actually functional. So you could back and forth between, uh, I guess, a neutral uh, reverse and uh, park and whatever the case is. So that's kind of nice touch. Uh, you can see the gauges uh, above the steering wheel there. And then you see the radio. Uh, keep in mind, this is a 1967. So wasn't much instrumentation in there, like a navigation system or a Bluetooth or all stuff. So they tried to capture the essence of the cassette player and the radio and the main element of the gauges. Uh, I like the dashboard, the black here. Uh, I don't think you can see with the glare of the screen. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, they uh, captured even the seating. Uh, the seating is very nice. They have also the rear seating there at the back of it uh, to represent the vehicle accommodate four passengers i mean three passengers and a driver but look at the detail of the seat i mean they really captured it nailed it down uh, just a bit on the trunk part the trunk to open up and then you have the nitrous you know for drag racing this actually come off this is an addition feature just like the ones over there i just added it here so i don't lose it but yeah this will be part of the additions uh, i'm most probably will just keep it in there uh, another feature they have, which I found very interesting too, is you could lift the rear suspension, which is another modification for the vehicle, which I'll show you in a second. But yeah, so this is mostly what the vehicle detailing came with. So just to recap here, uh, from the vehicle standpoint, let's zoom out a bit so we can look at the whole picture. So yeah, the roof comes off, the trunks open up, the hood opens up, doors open up, steering wheel functions, the shifter functions, and then uh, there's a suspension in the back that goes up and down, which I'll show you. This is part of transforming into a, a drag racer. And of course, the details in the, in the engine part. So very well uh, thought of. And of course, the roof comes off, uh, as I said, so you can access the interior if need be. So that's for this part. For the vehicle itself. Now, uh, to be able to modify it, to make it a uh, drag race, I guess, or whatever you want, soup it up a bit, all you have to do is actually open this up. Make sure that we're still in the camera. You take this engine filter and you pop this thing up, out, so these come off, and then supercharger engine goes in here straight forward nothing to it just plug it in there so that's that and then if i'm doing this correctly 
This is the rear. This is what controls the suspension going up and down. So let's flip it. See if I never did it yet, but I believe if I rotate this to one side, you're going to see the wheels moving up. So you could tell this is moving up, which is going to show. See now it's moving down. See, look at that. So now it's showing there's some suspension lifting it up. Uh, drop the side mirror. Let's just plug this thing back in here. Okay. So you could tell now if you, I don't know if that give it justice, but you could see that the vehicle itself has been lifted. Let me come here. See, look at the clearance over here it just went up so if i go back and now you can see the the wheel goes back and your clearance decreases but to soup it up of course part of it is to increase to do that and the reason is you want to add uh, the spoiler the spoiler goes in the trunk just like that all you do is you just attach it just like that and by doing so, now you have the spoiler here, and then we put the supercharger. The front spoiler, which is this one, will go in the front. I believe, if I recall, it just goes. Uh, look at the instructions. I think it just fits somewhere like that. There we go. That's it. So you just pop it in there. And now you have an angry 1967 Mustang GT. And then the last but not least, you pull out these exhaust. These come off. And the reason you take them off is because you're gonna add the side mufflers to make it even more angry. And the way they go, all it is is just, you put them like here. Take out a one and put them right here. There we go. And that's what they look like. I don't know about the orientation, they should orient this way most probably, but the point here is, and now you have a souped up GT 1967 Mustang GT. Look at that. Look at that angry vehicle. Uh, so yeah, so that's another way you could display the vehicle in a supercharger mode Which actually looking at it right now. It's not a bad thing uh, So yeah uh, Might actually interchange things around with time one I mean Leave it like that for a few months and then display it the other way for a few months I guess gives it a different look but definitely look at the front of it I mean just by adding the front spoiler and the supercharger you could tell this is an angry vehicle ready for drag racing and then of course the spoiler at the back that gives it that touch so definitely well well thought of and i like that they add these simple additions to it uh which you know you don't have to pay extra for it. i guess it comes with the whole package but yeah definitely uh i like this vehicle i just want to show you from another view just to be fair to it look at that this is a side view of it you can see the lift the vehicle and just to go from the top a bit since now we are close to it i think i could uh, and this is the interior of it look at that look at the dash seating definitely uh i love this vehicle uh and don't get me wrong i'm not a mustang fan but i do love this vehicle <laughs> so yeah so um uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video uh, as much as I did enjoy the video and the build itself uh, If you're new to the channel, please subscribe hit the like and share button that helps me up and uh, make sure that uh, our community grows and um, Follow me on Instagram if not already and till uh, next video Let's keep building